Okay, so I wanted to do a little bit more in-depth video for how I'm heating my water uh, from my outdoor wood boiler setup. So this is a lot more complicated than what most people will do it. And the reason I set it up this way is because I didn't want 170 degree water entering my water heater because it does have a plastic fill tube and other plastic components. So uh, for the rundown, you can see that there's a check valve right in, in front of the thermal expansion tank. I put on a larger four gallon thermal expansion tank. We're coming down, feeding into the unit. Now, this valve here is only gonna be open when my boiler is not running. So it's currently in the closed position. So the water is gonna continue to go down and feed over into the bottom of my plate exchanger. So out of my plate exchanger, I have a mixing valve. And in order to have cold water to dilute that down, I'm actually pulling water from the very bottom of the tank and since you're pulling water from the bottom of the tank you're going to have more sediment so there is a strainer and also a check valve on there so right after that you have the pump now the pump only kicks on when it's calling for heat that's another advantage of setting it up this way uh, i also put in a union here so that my fill tube uh, can be replaced or accessed. I didn't want a plastic fill tube, so I soldered on a piece of 5 8 copper to the brass nipple. Uh, there's no plastic in this water heater at all. Um, on the hot side, I replaced the, um, the standard factory galvanized uh, dielectric nipple with uh, a brass nipple. Now, here's the temperature control. The temperature control is set to kick on at about 125 degrees, and then it satisfies at about 132 degrees. That seems to work really well where we don't run out of hot water at all. Now, this is the return, and you can see there's a spring check valve right here because we don't want our hot and cold mixing together. But when my pump is running, it's going to be sending water past that check valve back into the cold feed of the water heater, and that's what allows the the water inside the tank to heat up when nobody's using any hot water. So you can see it goes up through the pump, uh, past that pump. Now the pump uh, is tied to this other pump off of the, uh, the boiler side and both of those pumps are designed to kick on only when we're calling for heat. So this has worked really well for us and if anybody wanted a similar setup feel free to message and I'll be happy to help.